So this one says, what is the value of G of 2? Now, keep in mind, this is very similar to the last question. I can graph all this and see where the 2 is, but this says less than 2. So if I look at this, what am I evaluating for X? So on this one, if I think of X and a number line, ooh, that's a, not a very good number line there. Um, it's saying that I'm only going to evaluate from 2 less than 2. So all the numbers less than 2. Okay, but that's not including 2. So I can't, I can't evaluate this. But now if I look at my second part of the piecewise function, it's saying that I can include 2. So it's saying x is greater than or equal to 2. So that means I'm including the 2. So I have to evaluate this bad boy. Now what I'm going to do is wherever there's an x, I'm going to plug a 2. So instead of x cubed, I'm going to say 2 cubed. Minus 9 times 2 squared plus 27 times 2 minus 25. So 8, uh, eight is 2 cubed because 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 again is 8 minus. Now remember, 2 squared is 4. i got to follow the order of operations. Times a negative 9 is negative 36. 27 times 2 is 54 minus 25. Okay. Um, I can plug that in my calculator as soon as it loads up. And let me do this. Oh, I got a couple of those things going. So I'm going to, um, let's uh, clear this out. And we're going to say 8 minus 36 plus 54 minus 25. I got one. But now, let me show you something. You can actually do this whole thing in the calculator um, by um, plugging it in exactly how Mr. Adams has written it on the Jamboard notes. So I'm just going to, the calculator will do the whole thing. Um, oops. If you enter it into the calculator correctly, it will do it. Two. Um, minus 25. Now, if I've done everything right both times, I should get 1. Yep. So this whole thing here is 1. So what I'm saying is that G of 2 is equal to 1. Um, that means that the point 2, comma 1 exists on the graph. Okay? That's it on that one.